Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're just to join me today as we, well, explore our ship yet again to talk to people, because last episode we were talking to Kart and, uh, Karth, I should say, and uh, Bastila, and now we're gonna talk, ooh, oh he's fast. I was checking our supplies in the cargo hold, something's not right. Uh, no, not right? What, what do you mean? Someone's been into the emergency stash of food. Mission and I asked everyone, but nobody knows anything about it. You might want to check out the food stores the next time you're in the cargo hold. Uh, I might indeed. I might indeed. Let me, uh, do that. Although we're gonna need to talk to you guys, so, uh, let's, let's see. Hey, Juani, how's it going? Hey. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? Nothing, apparently. I can ask about this place. Of course. I'll see you later. Uh, okay, so let's go to the cargo hold first. So this is the, to the left is uh, the exit. Over here is the engine room, if I remember correctly. No, that's mission. Hey, mission. Hey there. What can I do for you? I, um, do you know anything about the planet we're on? I always heard Tatooine was nothing but a rock covered by a bunch of worthless sand. I can't even figure out why Zerka Corp set up their mining operations here. Sorry I can't be more help, you know. Is there anything else I can do for you? Nah. Do you feel like, uh, talking about your brother? All I know is I'd like to speak to Griff myself. Okay. Well, I'll uh, talk to you about him later. Uh, maybe when I bring you with me. Actually, bringing her with me wouldn't be such a bad idea, would it? Hey, Candorous. How's it going, man? Yeah, what do you want? Uh, do you know anything about this world? Tatooine is one big desert with rocks sticking out. I heard that some of my people came here after the war, but I don't know what happened to them. The world of my clan, Ordo, was much like this. Dust basins and rock crags. But my world at least has some green around the equator. This place is just sand all over. There are some vicious people on this world, but the desert is the real enemy. Trips out in the desert, especially the deep desert, should be taken very carefully. Do you have anything else you want to ask? Uh, no, I'll see you later. Your choice. Yeah. Oh, well, you know how it is. We need to get back to our friends and all that sort of stuff. So that's the medical bay. That looks very nice. They did a very good job in, uh, very good job in, very good job there with the lighting for sure. Uh, so cargo bay, this is not. This is the engine room. I guess engines room. I don't really know how this works. Not a big Star Wars fan. Or, I, I, it's not really about being a fan, really. It's about... Not being a Star Wars buff, which I, is what I should have said, um, in, 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 in regards to knowing what exactly is going on there and all that sort of stuff. Okay, because, you know, I, I'm sure Star Wars identifies exactly what goes on in, in a engine and all this sort of stuff. So let's save the game there. Now let's see. Let's have a look over here at the supplies. Strangely, the food storage seems to have been disturbed recently. No one in the party would have done this, so there must be some other explanation. Hmm. I wonder if it's someone outside of the party. There are no half-eaten or torn packages to indicate the theft was from Pastor Vermin. It looks much like the unknown person has been conducting clandestine raids on your stores. Whoever the thief is, they have managed to avoid detection by you or your companion so far. Maybe a thorough search of the ship will reveal the stowaway? Oh... That's interesting. I mean, I don't think we need to check these things, but I'll still check. I'll still check because we might need to check these things. They're all empty, of course, but that's not the point. The point is that we might trigger, like, a dialogue check or something. Okay, so there's nothing there, and let's go to this engine room. You think you hear the soft patter of footsteps behind you, but when you stop to look, there's no one there. So this is not where I need to go. Hmm. Let's go to the medical room. Or over here. No. How about over here? No. Not in the medical room. Okay. Uh, let's go to... Oh. You think you hear the soft patter of footsteps behind you, but when you stop to listen, they disappear. Again. So we must be in the right track. Let's go this way. And this is storage room. Yes. Let's go this way. I mean, if they're gonna be uh, out of sight, then... Hmm. Nothing here either. That's strange. Let's go that way. 
Maybe in this room. <gasps> you think you hear the soft patter of footsteps behind you? But they go away immediately. Mmm, footsteps and the soft pattering and all that sort of... Hey, guys. That scared me. Hey. Oh, hey, Garth. Yes, what's on your mind? Uh, nothing. I'll talk to you later. Uh, you got it, he says. Yes, I got it. I always got it. Uh, okay, so that's not it. Did I check this room? Hey, Joanny. How's it going? Uh, you didn't see anything going around and doing pattering noises, did you? Hmm. Candorous? Hey. Checking back here. So we have a, a, a floater? Or what, whatever those things are? Okay. You hear... Coming from the direction of the cargo hold. He's there. Unfortunately... It's there! Kipuna! Bona ah. Kichu! Shab, 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 shab. Uh, hey! Where? What are you doing here? Selima Wanga Kuliki. Nap chap chap chash. That she's not saying anything. Na abs mi hut bad lies ounce. I can't understand what you're saying. Mucha shaka paga. Are you from Sims or something? She frowns and looks at you helplessly. Huh. Sasha. She has a name. Mucha shaka paga. Mucha shaka paga. That's the one. Uh, can you tell me your name? The girl looks at you oddly, puzzled. I point to myself. My name is Marcus Jeros. She's gonna take it as that whole thing. You are? Mucha shaka panga. Uba susa shasha. Sasha. Oh. Do you know what Twi'lek by the name of Lur Arka Sulas? The girl obviously, obviously doesn't understand you. Sasha. Your name is Sasha, right? Mucha shaka panga. And she nods. How did you get on the ship, Sasha? Okay, so she doesn't know that... I where are you from? She doesn't also think. I'm gonna try to learn Sasha's strange language. Sasha na is a one in Brigstag. Brigstag Melaisfa. Hmm. What? <laughs> Many of the words you're speaking are Mandalorian. Kipuna. Manluri. Manluri is na gondisen. Manluri, Manluri, that's your word for Mandalorian. So you do know of them. Selima Wanga Menai is one ma Mandal. But you are a Mandalorian child then? Kipuna. Me? Bona Sasha na Manlurin. Oh, no. That's no, obviously. Uh, so Sasha isn't Mandalorian. Got it. But why don't you speak basic then? She doesn't understand that. Okay. So I'm. Oh, is this a code? Huh. S1. Na S1? What? Tong abuk shami no no. Me S1. I see you, you see me. Tong abuk shami no no. The girl hides her no face. No. Oh, are we playing a game? Na S1 is hide? Me na S1. Oh, C and no C. S1 is C and na S1 is no C. Duh. Yeah. Tonki ba non tontek. Girls? No, geese? Guba geso no geese. I don't get that at all. Sure. Selima wanga Sasha Nayas won in Bristag. Oh, she hides in here in the ship. Bristag is the ship. Bristag me lesfa. Oh, everything is safe, is that? Tonki ba non She points towards the Ebonhawk servants' panels. Me lesfa. Me steam queen in lesfa. She has a place. You see. Last word means sleep? No. The panel? That's what last word means? Kipuna! Bona na kichu! Kipuna! I don't know what I clicked. I'm sorry. Uh. What is Bristol? Tong abuk shami no nok. It's a thing. It's your home. Is that it? Mucha shaka panga. She makes a swooshing sound. It's the ship! Yeah, it is. I understood that immediately. Tong abuk shami yeah. no nok. So, Sasha. The ship, Sasha na S1 in Bristag. She hides in the ship. Uh, they should have made it a little bit less obvious, the inn. Uh, ship is her home. You're hiding in the starship. It's your home, I understand. Mucha shaka panga. Sure. So you said before, the gondisen. What was that? Mucha shaka panga. Yuba gondisen. Something about me, but what? Tong abuk shami no nok. 
she's the golden decent. Well, something you like. Maybe? I think me is like my or something. Uh, golden decent means you like it? Mucho shaka paga. You were golden decent. You like me? Oh, I understand. Salima wanga kun king. I don't have abs, no, sorry. I'm, I'm more of a dexterity kind of guy. Oh, no, that's not what you're asking. Na abs. You said that when I first found you. Kipona. Bona na kichu. There are abs? What? It means hit? Is that it? No, wait a minute. Abs, me abs. It means it? Kipona. Bona na kichu. Or hit. Abs is na gon decent. No, abs is to hurt. It means, oh, I, she doesn't want me to hurt her. Oh, no, she likes not being hurt? No, gon decent is me, I think. Is it? Tonki ba non tontek. Oh, she means, yeah, no, I won't hurt you. Tonki ba non tontek. Mi aunts guess that one. Yum no geese. Oh, yes, she also said that before. Oh, Yum is the thing that I need to. Yum is so small. This is more like a connector. This is really weird. Uh, let's go with non nuggies. Is that all one phrase? What? I don't. Kipuna. The girl Bona thinks for a moment. Kichu. And then stabs down her several times with her finger. Mi capsi nuggies. The floor. The floor. Nuggies means floor. Kipuna. Bona na kichu. She doesn't do something on the floor. Oh, she doesn't want to sleep on the floor. Uh, you're speaking no geese means now. No, no geese means now. She doesn't want something. Oh, she's not hiding now. Kipuna, bona na kichu. What about yum? Tong abuk shami no nok. She points elsewhere. It's a part of the ship, a room? Mucho shaka panga. Uh, she's chewing on something. Oh, it's th oh, she wants to eat. Slimo. Uh, you want some food now? You're hungry. Donkey, ba Tabbed me yuba. My god. Or tabbed me yuba. Tabbed you? What What do you mean? Mucho shaka paga. She points to her mouth. Oh, you want me to tell you a, a... No. What? You want to tell me a story? About what? Donkey, ba non tontek. She points at you. Tabbed means tell me about... Oh, she wants... Tabbed me yuba. What is yuba? Yuba. Tabbed me yuba. Or tabbed, I suppose. Um, you know, it, it wouldn't be topped if it is English pronunciation. I realize that, but I don't get it. Donkey, but yeah, I know it's tapped you, you, but I, you, I'm gonna communicate with Sasha in her language, please. Mucho shaka panga. Oh no, uh, so you by me capsi no geese. There's someone there who will take you home. Ur arca kestuan au. No, wait a minute. Oh, what? Why are you hiding in this ship? Oh, that's what I'm. Okay, so she's asking me what I want to ask her. Okay. Um, why are you hiding on my ship? Selima Wanga Kunbi. You came to the ship before. Huh. You were very scared. Why? That's what she says. Kipuna. Uh, you left the Mandalorians and you hid on the sh hid here on the ship. Tongki ba. You don't want to leave. The Abon Hawk is your own. Tong Abuk Sham. Oh. So why are you scared of the Mandalorians? Kipuna. Uh,. They took you before and hurt you? Selim. The Mandalorian ship wasn't home. Yeah, you didn't like it. Mut uh, well, you sleep here on the ship? Dong abuk shami she no points no. to a nearby service panel. You understand that she have, must have been sleeping in the ships to repair ducts. Um, hmm. The Ebon Hawk is not your home, Sasha. Not your first home, anyway. Dong abuk. Tell me about your home before. Dong ki ba. Then to ween. Oh, crap. Uh, we need to go back there? Is that it? We're in Tatooine right now. Uh, there's someone there who will take you all. No, wait a minute. Dantooine? Maybe someone on Dantooine remembers you. No, she doesn't understand that. Mucho shakapaka. Mucho shakapaka, yes. Um, so I need to communicate in her language. There's someone there, but I don't know who there is, where there is, but sure. We'll take you all. She wants to go to Dantooine. If Lur Arke is still there, we'll see. Okay. What is that quest all about? Strange stowaway. After considerable effort, you don't say. You have managed... That was actually pretty good. I like it. Um, you managed to communicate with the young stowaway or stowaway. I don't really know how to pronounce that. Whose name appears to be Sasha. And learned that she was going... Or doing... 
learned what she was doing aboard the ship. Apparently, she was once held by the Mandalorians long enough to learn their sh speech, but nothing else. And she escaped from them long enough to stow or stow away on the Ebon Hawk and hide. Her original home seems to be Dantooine. Perhaps someone there could help her. So we need to go back to Dantooine. Okay. Well, let's have a chat with uh, the rest of our friends. Let's get out on the on the on the. Let me just lower the volume here on the uh, planet. So programming spikes? Nope. Okay, sure. Anything else? Uh, can I ask questions? No. Okay, can't do anything there. Hey Zalar, how's it going, man? Oh, is there something you want? Hey, do you know anything about the planet? I know that it isn't my home world. That's all I care about. There's nothing here to interest me. Uh, I wonder if you could help me with a problem. Unless you want someone threatened or a door bashed in, you should ask someone else. Uh, okay. Do you have anything more to say about yourself, Zalbar? I will honor my life debt, but I don't feel we share more than that. Mission may say more, but I will not. Okay. I think he's... Uh, no, maybe I can ask a little bit more about that. Uh, you don't trust me... Tell me, yeah, he doesn't, he just doesn't want to talk to right now. That's fine, I understand that. He doesn't even want to talk in my own language, even though he knows my own language, because that's what I'm talking to him about. Just doesn't care, just doesn't bother. Apparently that's how it is, according to uh, somebody that commented in the comments section and told me about that, and that is very interesting. Uh, so, and I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. I'm terrible with names. I'm, I, I think it's a blue... Uh, avatar, like the sort of thing. Uh, who are we taking with us today? Well, I would say... I would say Mission. Definitely Mission. We need her. Uh, and probably Zalbar. You know, yeah, bring those two big guys. That's the ones I want. And let's see who is out here. Welcome to Anchorhead, potential customer. Zerka Corporation stands ready to serve. After some formalities, of course. First, your ship is not on our list of planned arrivals for today. There is a docking fee of 100 credits because of this. Uh, what do I get for my 100 credits? The immediate benefit is access to these very docking facilities. This is the only port in Anchorhead. Once you've paid, we will offer trade services as well. We're not unreasonable, we just want to cover expenses. Is uh, there any way you could reconsider the fee? I mean... Is it is it is it un impolite of me to haggle? Ah, just let's go with that. I assure you that the fee is non-negotiable. We have a very thin margin of profit on this world. I understand, but the money I save, I'll spend in your stores. That does make sense. I suppose I could let it go this time. We need the business. This will cover any future landings as well. It's like a registration. So we can serve you better when you return. Now, as a customs officer, I can provide information on services. Is this visit business or pleasure? Why not both? Uh, also, I think they should have rewrote, rewritten the um, "Don't look at me like that, Marco." You know, it's both. Anyway, um, they should have rewritten the li the line where they said, "Oh, this will cover the future." No, yes, that's right. Um, I'm. I'm looking for something very specific. Uh, who should I ask? That's not much information. Could you tell me more? Um, yes, I'm looking for older things. Uh, you know, antiques, artifacts, that sort of stuff. You a digger? I've heard of ruins being found now and then, but they've always been stripped by sand people soon after. You're not going to get anywhere with them. I guess you could ask around, but I doubt you'll learn anything different. You could always ask a Jawa. It's hard to tell what they know. Oh, it's not a Java then. Okay. Um, yeah, I also need work. Uh, is there anything to do around here? It depends on what level of risk you want to take. You could ask at the Zerka office if any bounties need collecting. That's in the central anchor head. While you're at the office, ask for a hunting license so you can sell trophies to Faza in his lodge, just north of them. I suppose you could also take up swoop racing. Talk to the hut at the registration office by the track. That's in West Anchorhead. I can't say I know which of these jobs is the most dangerous. I stay away from all of them. Sure, um... 
Give me some information on Tatooine. There isn't much to tell. It's a very old planet, well past its prime. Zerka Corporation is the only company with any interest in it. It's not a very pretty world, but there is opportunity here if you know where to look. I disagree. I lo it looks very pretty right now. I mean, I haven't seen the world, but uh, tell me about Zerka Corp's operations here. I can't really get into that. It hasn't been a very smooth operation. I shouldn't get into it. Oh, come on, friend. I mean... <laughs> well, it's common knowledge, so there's no harm in telling you. It's a tale of bad business. You see, Zerka Corporation staked their claim to this planet based on some very promising geological surveys. Unfortunately, that information was incorrect, and possibly even a, an attempt at sabotage by a rival company. Well, I guess it would be sabotage if the information about the... Mm, sure. So Zerka Corporation set up shop on a barren planet. Not totally barren. There were a few good years of mining, and limited operations are still in place. But the ore is flawed. It has peculiar properties. They've had to look at other forms of business. <laughs> the ore is flawed. It's uh, iron is iron, dude. It just carbon is carbon. What? <laughs> it's magical. It's magical. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, you know. When you say the ore is flawed, or is peculiar. Zerka Corporation has really tried to hide this, but it just seems that Tatooine metal is unfit for effective manufacturing. I would imagine that this outpost will eventually be abandoned. Nobody is making any money here. Of course, <laughs> this rock may have been settled a few times, so look for some other company to get stuck with it. Well, you're certainly not making any money. Uh, so what other forms of business are being looked at here? Pursuits that uh, appeal to the casual traveler. There are some fearsome native species that provide exciting hunting. There are also lengthy barren wastes that serve as fine soup tracks. Attracting business has been slow, however. Hmm, we're gonna play some soup races. Or, you know, race some soup races. Um. What is known about the history of the planet? Very little. There are hints that it might once have been a lush world, but I can't picture it as anything but a desert. Native sentient species have no records going back that far. That was hundreds of years ago, maybe thousands. Of course, the native species are not very willing to tell anyone anything. They're <laughs> barely more than animals. Yeah, I got the impression that you were a racist from before. Don't worry. Don't drive it home. Um, so, what species do you mean? The sand people. They're vicious and attack outsiders on sight. More animal than anything, really. Maybe they know the history of Tatooine. Maybe they don't. Impossible to tell. They won't cooperate. Why could it be? It's, it's almost as if you're not even... Invading their planet and settling here and stealing their resources. Um, have you had trouble with them? Not personally, but they've given Zerka Corporation a rough time. It's hard enough mining this rock without suffering random attacks. I think the company has even put a bounty on them, but I'm sure not going to try for it. Mm. Okay, so that's yeah. That's I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, other questions? Information it's on not Tatooine. Uh. What is not about history? Native, of course, the native speak. Yeah. So, what about the city of Anchorhead? How old is it? Oh, also, what species do you mean? The sand people. Yeah, so he goes back to that. Uh, any other sentient races? The Jawas are scavengers and a bit primitive. Hard to understand. They have an affinity for droids. Some of our scientists believe that they may not be native to the planet. But how they got here, they may not even know. As I said, they're hard to understand. They usually end up slaves to the sand people. They aren't fighters. Good traders, though. Hmm. So... I want to ask... Not... I... About... Um... So they... I can't... Yeah, I asked about this. Yeah. 
So, history of the planet. Of about Arrowhead, yeah. What about the city Arrowhead? How old is it? Or the Anchorhead? The site is quite old. From the look of it, it's been settled before. Circa Corporation claimed it only a few decades ago. Hmm. What was here before? Some other corporation that went under, probably. Not a lot of records are kept about backwater places like this. Hmm, interesting. So where should a person look for opportunity? It depends on what level oh. of... Oh, okay, I, I know, I know I about that. Thank you. Um, well, I guess that's that. I, I, I really need to get going. As you wish. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Thank you very much. So there we go. This is Tatooine. It's a pretty awesome place. We're going to do some swoop races. Also, I think I'm going to go out in the desert and hunt. I think we have some interesting characters. We certainly have two more characters to join us. But um, for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than uh, later. What? what? But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.